Welcome to this video lecture on the anatomy of a typical vertebra and the special features of each region of the spine. Let's dive in and explore the backbone of our body, quite literally. What are vertebrae? The spine consists of special bones called vertebrae. Vertebrae are the 33 individual bones that interlock with each other to form the spinal column. The vertebrae are numbered and divided into regions. There are 7 cervical vertebrae. 12 thoracic vertebrae, 5 lumbar vertebrae, 5 sacral vertebrae, for coccygeal vertebrae, general structure of a vertebra. Even though the vertebrae in different parts of the spine look a bit different, they all share a similar basic structure. A typical vertebra has three main parts. Vertebral body, vertebral arch 7 processes. Let's talk about their details. Vertebral body, the body is the front part of the vertebra. It carries most of the weight. As you go down the spine, the vertebral bodies get larger and thicker to support more weight. Between each pair of vertebrae, there is an intervertebral disc that acts like a cushion and connects them tightly. Vertebral arch. The vertebral arch is at the back of the vertebra. It has two pedicles on the sides and two laminae at the back, one on each side. The pedicles connect the arch to the body while the laminae form the posterior wall of the arch. The space between the vertebral arch and body is called the vertebral foramen, this is where the spinal cord passes through. When vertebrae are stacked together, all these holes line up to create the spinal canal, which protects the spinal cord. Also, when vertebrae are joined, small notches on the pedicles form intervertebral foramina, these are the openings where the spinal nerves come out. Processes of vertebrae each vertebra has seven processes sticking out from the vertebral arch. These are two transverse processes, one on each side, coming out from where the pedicle and lamina meet. There's one spinous process sticking out at the back center, this is the part you can feel as bumps along your back. These processes are points where muscles attach. Two superior articular processes pointing upward. Two inferior articular processes pointing downward. These connect with the articular processes of the vertebrae above and below to form joints that allow movement. The shape and angle of these joints change depending on the part of the spine, and that affects how much and what kind of movement is possible in each area. 